Zombies. Sorry I missed my upload last week. Last week? Two years ago. What are you? <gasps> Creature! <laughs> this is my girlfriend. We're, we're basically just doing this video. You know this video. Where the world met Anthony Padilla for the first yeah. time ever. No one knew who he was before that. Well now he's gonna introduce me to the world for the first time ever. That's right. By taking off my... Makeup. makeup. Wow, we say everything at the same time. Everything. everything. Yes, we, we do. do. It's been a while since I could do makeup again. Does anyone know that song? No, but you did get copyright striked. <laughs> montage time? No, we already did the montage. Oh, we already did montage time. I, could, I just want just a series of montages. Okay, here's another one. <laughs> I'm so hungry. You're hungry? Do you need protein? That sounded strangely sexual. I meant like a protein bar. <sighs> Do you need to be fed some water? <laughs> so we're gonna unleash the beast. The I... beast is actually under this. I'm the beast? This isn't the beast. What's under here is. What are you trying to say about my actual face? You you're think right. you're beauty and I'm the beast? Right now, yes, but um, also I'm sleeping in the doghouse tonight, aren't I? This is our first fight. <laughs> so tell me what the f I'm doing. I guess we should go over that. Basically, you're gonna find find the hole, and then you're gonna put it in the hole, and then you're gonna wiggle it around <laughs> until until what? Until it falls off. Oh my God! There's gonna be so much ramming this inside. So many things. This is already demonetized. <laughs> Sorry, sponsor. Ooh, ooh my god. Have you ever interviewed someone while taking off their makeup before? No. Trying to up your skill level. I'm gonna be so good at interviewing after this. Ooh, I got a little hole revealing itself right now. Oh, hello. Peter's here. Hello, Peter's hand. Uh, I've been sitting for a long time. Speaking of pain, wanna know where I was for two years? Yeah, tell me. <laughs> okay, I mean, you know. I've you seen were... you physically, but, but yeah, you... where were you mentally? You've also seen that. <laughs> I just, I like don't even know where to begin. If you follow me on Instagram, then you've already seen a lot of these things kind of unfold in real time because I was updating for a while and then I actually started to feel like updating people on all the mysterious health problems I was going through wasn't helping me. It made me more anxious about all the things I could have. So I started to pull it back. To summarize, last video that I uploaded, I mentioned that my throat hurt. I've been dealing with weird health things for the last three weeks or so. It's hard for me to use my arms. They've been in a lot of pain lately. And the last week especially, really bad, has been a thing with my throat where uh, it feels swollen. Well, that was putting it mildly. Around that time, I started to develop all these different symptoms. I had a lot of anxiety that I was working through because I had all these mysterious pains and problems coming up. Mm -hmm. You're anxious? You said you're anxious? Starting in September, I filmed about two videos before it got too bad that I had to stop to the point that eventually I couldn't talk. It felt like my whole throat was swollen shut. And then it just went from here, like up and down my body to head to toe, like quite literally the top of my head to my feet. I had different symptoms, different kinds of pain coming up. Didn't you have a list of all of the different types? I have a, I stopped okay. counting at, I think like 58 or something. I stopped yeah. listing the symptoms, but I was keeping track of them all because I was going from doctor to doctor, re-explaining everything. Mm -hmm. Within the next few months, I had seen over 20 doctors and specialists. Kept a list of all the tests I got done. I kept a list of all the diagnoses I got. I got over a dozen. That's so wild. Did you ever think that there would be a time when you were saying this? Because I remember when we were going yeah. through it and it was like it was gonna be the rest of your life. You were told it was gonna be the rest of your life. I mean, some things that they diagnosed me with were considered incurable, yeah. Yeah. But apparently they're curable, so. <laughs> Cause I'm good today. It took two years of like nonstop, every angle attack yeah. work, but for the most part, I'm not in any pain today. That's amazing. Honestly, I saw what you were going through. It was like, every time I would look at you, you're holding a different part of your body. Some of the diagnoses make sense, like POTS and fibromyalgia and HEDS, but one doctor diagnosed me with something that he was ready to do surgery for and thank god i didn't do that because i didn't oh, end up yeah. needing it <laughs> i thought you were close though i was real was... close because i was desperate so you have all these different diagnoses that explain one aspect of it mm -hmm. and 
nothing really combines together. Yeah, I think that the one that addressed the most overall issue was I had like massive nervous system dysregulation. I had no idea that if you trigger your nervous system and then it gets stuck in a state of fight, flight, or freeze, it can cause problems with so many different areas because your nervous system controls so much shit. It controls how you breathe, how you digest things, how you sleep, your perception of pain and stuff like that. So it just, it messed up everything. I also found that my mental health was a big, 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 big inseparable part of the problem. I had no idea how connected the mind and body were until all of this stuff happened because as I improved my mental health, I also improved my physical health. So I felt like the last two years has gone in a few stages. It was figuring out the mystery health problems. It was doing things to make my physical health better. It was now working on my mental health, which turned out to be an even longer journey than the physical health one. I would say I spent the largest portion trying to work through PTSD, which I was diagnosed with, and there were a lot of other emotionally traumatic things that happened in the last two years that I felt like it kept setting me back and I felt like I was like kicked while I was down, where like, both of our dogs almost died in the same night. And if you don't know what I'm talking about with that, then f you. Not you, like personally you sitting there at home. You, Y-E-W, the plant. If you take nothing else from this video, just know that this is what a you plant looks like and they are highly, 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 highly poisonous to dogs and extremely common. My little babies. Oh, they were in rough shape. Rough! Another very traumatic thing happened that I don't even want to talk about and I had a cancer scare in the middle of all of this. So like, it was just like, <laughs> Oh, it was that? so many. My nose made a sound. <laughs> Your nose is like too serious. Boom, comic relief. <laughs> Those jingle bells. Nice. I would never have guessed. Demonetized. How do you manage to look good even with this on? <laughs> I think it's because I can see your eyes. I got questions about you. The mental health stuff was, you don't have to, you don't have to, it's okay. I just felt like I needed to, 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 to nurture you for a second. <laughs> thank you, thank you for the you're, nurture. I really, I really remember that you just your little body under here, not this creepy <laughs> nematode thing. I'm always a creepy nematode. Then once I got the physical health and the mental health to like a decent place, I started to take fitness very, very, very seriously and my mental health very, very seriously. And it's been like a full-time job just trying to not only recover from that time, but to surpass where I was before I even stopped uploading. And I did. Yeah. I'm, I'm very, really healthy. I'm I surprised eat. you're not showing off your shoulders. Those things, she got guns up there. They don't look like anything right now. Well. I need a shoulder pump. It's been a while. They're there. No, they're there. Look at this. Sarah Connor shoulders. Oh, yeah. In my dreams. Long story short, I decided that uploading would be on hold until I knew that I was stronger both mentally and physically than I was when I left. And it, it took two years. You know how long I thought it was gonna take once my throat closed up? Yeah. I thought I would need about a month. One month. A month. Mm. Yeah, so it took a little longer than expected. But we're here, we got here. That's all that really matters, we got here. I feel like you're a completely different person than you were two years ago. Oh my god. Some things never change. That is a common part of your personality that will never change. <laughs> I feel like you've grown in every area. Like if there was a chart of like 10 different things that make up a person, it was like statistics from like a little bar like 0 to 10. I feel like all of yours are like maxed out to the max of this level now. I don't understand, but thank you. To be fair, if people haven't changed in the last two years, they should reevaluate <laughs> themselves. For lives. sure. Yeah. I think it's fair to say I've been on a bit of a crash course though. Yeah. What do you think is the biggest thing that you've learned in the past two years? The most valuable thing I've learned is that mental health is physical health. They're connected. They're one and the same. If you're dealing with pain and chronic pain especially, I feel for you. It's like impossible to understand how debilitating it is until you're living it. And I, I feel very, very fortunate that I have luckily been able to overcome every symptom that I was dealing with two years ago. Because, you know, a lot of people aren't that lucky. You're mentally stronger, you are physically stronger, you are... I can pick you up now. You could, yes, you can! <laughs> Should you? Right now? Yeah. Oh, with God. monster face on. Oh, Jesus. Whew, okay, just one second before we get back to that. You will not believe who just entered the studio just now. Very different than 
who we've been speaking to the rest of the video, someone that is so fancy that we must conceal their identity so that they don't get swarmed by you adoring fans in public. Now introducing... Lady Mikey here, totally not the other one, that plebe. Anyway, established titles is a fun and novel way to preserve the natural woodlands of Scotland while helping global reforestation efforts. It is a project based on a historic Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as ladies and lords in English. Title Packs gives you at least one square foot of dedicated land on a private estate in Edgelston, Scotland and an official certificate with a crest. Your certificate features a unique plot number with which you can see the exact location of your land. We plant a tree with every order and work with global charities, one tree planted, and trees for the future to support global reforestation efforts. You could officially change your name to Lord or Lady and get it on your credit card, plane tickets, etc. You can even get it on your dating profiles. It makes a great last minute gift. We even have couples packs that come with adjoining plots of land. Romantic. <laughs> My accent's starting to get real bad. <laughs> I love it. I mean, I'm totally Lady Mikey. The first 200 people purchasing a title pack using my link will effectively be next to my plot within a few minutes of walking distance. Depending on how many of you want to become a lord or a lady, we can build our little zombie kingdom together. And like I said, it makes an amazing last minute gift, especially if you're not very creative and you keep getting people socks. Established Titles is actually running a massive sale right now. Plus, if you use the code Mikey, you get an additional 10% off. Go to establishedtitles.com slash Mikey to get your gifts now and help support the channel. Thank you. Please address me exclusively only as Lady Mikey from here on out. Goodbye. Shoo. Shoo! Get out of here! Oh, sh Whoa, shit! How do I feel like? Yeah. <laughs> you're making good progress, I see. Uh, yeah, it's on there so f tight. It really looks like your skin is just super glued here. It's like Saw 5. But I do feel like the entire internet has changed as well in the past two years. You're going into a different climate. Different That's true. I have no idea what YouTube's like these days, so... There's YouTube shorts now. You mean TikTok? <laughs> I feel like I'm uncovering some kind of prehistoric thing that's been sealed away I am earth. the prehistoric thing. Are you calling me old now? Bitch, I'm not old. I didn't age a day. I'm a spring chicken. You look younger than I ever before. <laughs> <laughs> I missed you so much. I've been here the whole time. Listen up for you a bit. Uh, this part feels like a wet banana slug. Ah. What is that, because you're hot? Are you trying to be beautiful? She is <laughs> beauty, she is graced. <laughs> is that because you're warm? No, I'm setting my makeup. Girl, this is set. <laughs> Did you miss uh, this part of video creation? Um, wearing it, no. What part of making videos did you miss the most, ma'am? The miss fun part. I like playing with friends. I like doing videos with friends. I really missed ghost hunting. Mm -hmm. That was something that I was upset about two years ago because of COVID. I, I knew that I couldn't travel and do that the way that I would have normally. You didn't upload in, in October in 2020, did you? One video. Oh, you did? The last one, yeah. There were full days when you weren't talking. I was like, Mikey, do you, uh, how you doing? Do you, you feeling okay today? You're like, Actually, a funny thing that happened then was, so since my throat was closing up, I actually thought that it might have been allergies or something, especially because my, my body started to break out in hives and rashes. We also thought it was mold. Oh yeah. So I was like, I gotta move, because it might be mold. I searched the house for black mold. I went to an allergist, I got an allergy test, and they said I was allergic to 37 different things, including dogs. You're like, there's not a chance in the world that I'm staying away from my dogs not just because this thing said that I'm allergic to dogs. Absolutely not. I would live on Benadryl 24-7. Turns out I had something called, I think it's called Dermatologica uticaria. Uticaria basically means like if you scratch your skin, it'll just well up into a hive. So they did the allergy test where they scratch your skin, which means it's going to come back positive for pretty much everything. Oh. Because the problem is not what they're testing, it's... It's your skin. It's my skin. <laughs> So I redid the allergy test in a way that did not involve scratching of the skin, and it turns out I'm just allergic to dust and cats. I knew that one. I knew the cats one. Unfortunately, they're so cute. Luckily, I have a cat dog, so. Are you losing your mind yet? Trapped in this thing? 
<laughs> no, it just looks like you have a gill. I think I peed myself a little. That looks kind of cool. Should I do the other side? No. Yeah. Yeah? I'm like the creature from the black <laughs> Should, should, should I? switch sides? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, put this wet brush in your hole. <laughs> I can hear it. it. Sounds like someone's stirring macaroni and cheese. Look at my face right now. <laughs> Ow! Ow! <laughs> I look like I'm throwing a fit. <laughs> What don't you like, man? <laughs> That's a good question. Well, that, there you go, there's a difference. What? You asked me what don't I like and I couldn't think of anything. Whoa! You! F you! True. F you. I hate you! I hate you! You look like an old man. Or something. What kind of old man are you looking at, Peter? Peter, you don't look at the right old man. Look at that, you gotta gauge your ear. My ears are stretched more than they were last time you saw me, so that's fun. There's a real, there's like a famous photo uh, from. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Peter. I swear I'm listening. I'm sorry. There's a famous photo from the Ninja Turtles movie where you could see the. the... We should get a shot like this for the thumbnail. Here, kiss this. Oh my good god! I wasn't expecting. <laughs> Damn. You look like a little gremlin that got let outside for the first time. I have party in the USA stuck in my head. You want more good questions? Yeah. Um, you got pats. I did. That's not a question. Talk about your past two years. Where have you been? <laughs> I just talk some sh mad shit. I just talk some mad shit. <laughs> That's right. That's right, dumb bitch. <laughs> you really know how to get me. You're like, there's nothing funnier than dumb bitch. There isn't. <laughs> What's the most shocking thing that's happened to you in the past two years? I, oh, 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 God, uh. That was a lot harder to pull off than I thought. That was violent. I almost decapitated you. But kind of ripped wait. No. Oh wait, look at it. Do you know what that reminds me of? I don't know if I want to know. Don't touch it like that when you ask that <laughs> Do question. Do you want to know what this reminds me of? What? Creature's little toe. Oh, yeah. Creature's little extra toe. This is like Creature's little extra toe. It is toe. like his little extra toe. <laughs> I'm gonna flick your toe beans. I'm gonna get them. Exhibit A. Creature's foot. One, two, three, four, five. This one just... It looks exactly like your horn. Spot the difference. You can't. Look how ashamed he looks. <laughs> it's not shameful. It's nothing to be ashamed of, It's nothing but to be ashamed of. Lots, it happens to lots of dogs. It's, it's just the way you are. It makes you special. He tries to bite it off. I don't think he knows it's a part of him. Oh, Creature learned a new trick in the last two years. You want to hear it? What? Good job, bud. Good boy, creature. You have a beautiful voice. Peter, I am a Nema Toad, AMA. How much Nema and how much Toad? I am 10% Nema, 94% Toad. You do the math. 525,790 million minutes. You can't copyright strike that because it was wrong. Whoa, you are, you're, you're, un, you're breaking free. That is a very deep hole. Well, Peter had a good question. What about you? You got a duck. Come here, you got a duck. Oh, I thought you were just telling me about ducks. Can you do like an AMA? Should I take your questions live right now? Anthony doesn't have any further questions for me. It's like I've been with you for two years. <laughs> Ask me a question. Make it a good one. Like that. Okay, I posted it. What's Ridley's middle name? Rip. <laughs> I I can't read that letter P. That letter. Oh, you know why? It says Ridley. It does. It literally says Ridley. That's why I read it. <laughs> oh my god, I was supposed to be like Anthony <laughs> Padilla. You don't know our daughter's name. Ripley's middle name is Bear Pizza. It, it really is. It makes sense. I did not just make that up on the spot. That's her middle name. It's hyphenated. Ripley Bear Pizza. It's French. If you could spend the day with one serial killer, real or movie, who would it be? None. None. They're a serial killer. Oh. <laughs>
Three posts later, they said, what's Ripley's middle name with an asterisk next to it? So they did correct themselves. It's like they already heard the video and were like, oh shit, oh shit, I know it. I know her name's Ripley. What is your personal goal you hope to achieve in the next five years? I would like to make a horror movie. Mm. I think I could do it in less than five years. I think I could do it in less than three. Ooh. I think I might even be able to do it in less than two. I might even be able to do it in less than one. Wait. It's a goal. Oh, here's a good one. What happened to your vampire fangs? They're still here. They're still there. Behind the other fangs. They're thriving. I would never get rid of my fangs. Did you use a different kind of glue on this side? No. <laughs> this is ridiculous. What are you most excited about with being back? I'm only gonna do videos that I really wanna do now. What makes that different than before? I think before I really felt like I could not miss a week. And mm. now I think I want to spend more time mm -hmm. on videos, even if it means I upload less in a month than I used to. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited about that change. I feel like at one point YouTube was really about consistency. So mm -hmm. it was like, well, if it's not good, it doesn't matter. You just got to pump something out as quickly as possible. Because people only knew when you were uploading based on your schedule. That you yeah, made yeah. And you out. had to keep up your schedule. But now yeah. YouTube is really good at pushing your content, even if it's off schedule. Even when I took my break before, I took like a four month break, I came back thinking like, okay, I've got a handle on it. And just week to week, I don't think it works for me, so. You treat each piece of content that you make as big substantial project. And to get a big substantial project as much time as it needs every single week is just impossible, I feel. I'm surprised you were able to do it for so long. I mean, I, I wasn't able to do it for so long. I sacrificed every other part of my life yeah. to do the week to week upload. And I would spend the first half of the week overthinking what would be good enough. Mm -hmm. And then I'd run out of time most of the time. I just didn't wanna, I didn't wanna let people down if I didn't upload four videos a month. Yeah. I don't think people will be let down if you are taking care of yourself. Horror film character that actually scares the shit out of you. I mean like in reality, if I was face to face with any of them, I would cry like a little baby, but watching them, none of them scare me. I wouldn't call it a character, but I think that the the premise of the invitation is one that scares me more than most because it feels like it could really happen. It's not like this intentionally villainous group of people. It's just people that are brainwashed because they're in so much pain that they do things to hurt other people. It's a big metaphor for like, True. What we do when we're in pain. Who's we? non people? Everyone. You. <laughs> fuck you. The royal you. <laughs> you do it. I do it. We all do it. When we don't know how to handle our hurt, we try to find a solution and sometimes that hurts other people. Mm -hmm. Along the way, if you're not conscious of where it's coming from when you're doing it. Ah. Ooh. Ooh. You're welcome. Should we get a peekaboo? Sure. Peekaboo. <laughs> now I just look. <laughs> It still looks like it's kind of odd. I'm gonna take this horn off. The same way as last time? Yeah. We'll get Peter to ask a question. What other names did you consider for Ripley and Creature? <laughs> oh. Oh. That one ripped off a little bit of an eyebrow. You were gonna shave it anyway, let's it's, be honest. It's true. Well, originally I wanted a boy dog, I thought, but then I fell in love with this little girl dog. The boy dog's name was gonna be Reptar, so I wanted to pick something that went with Reptar, thinking I'd get a little boy dog in the future. So I picked Ripley, like Ellen Ripley, like Alien. Believe it or not, I quit on the Reptar thing by the time we got around to dog number two. But I almost named him Voorhees. And then Anthony said, oh, Voorhees, like, Voorhees, a jolly good fellow. And I knew I could, I just couldn't name him that. Mm -hmm. I knew that I'd never be able to hear that ever again without hearing that song and having it stuck in my head. So Voorhees was not gonna work. Sorry, I, I uh, implanted something very bad in your head. I think that would have been a badass name, but he is a creature through and through. Oh yeah. How do you get latex out of your baby hairs and eyebrows? You gotta get uh, a handsome hunk to do it for you. And some isopropyl mirror state. Yeah, ibuprofen. Or, no. <laughs> what is something you would tell your 15 year old self today with everything you've been through? Ooh. It's a hefty one to end it on. I would tell my 15 year old self, keep being inquisitive. Maybe get to the inquisitive stuff about yourself a little sooner. Oh. I think it's a lesson that we all learn in time, but I think uh, self-reflection. I would encourage that to happen a little sooner. Oh, yep. You definitely got no eyebrow over here. <laughs> Wait, what would you tell your 15 year old self? I would tell my 15 year old self that all, all of the painful emotions that I think that I'm stronger than feeling, that, that just powering through it and not allowing myself to feel, 
are actually still there. And just telling myself that I don't feel those emotions that doesn't actually make them go away. And that it's okay to feel all the emotions. Very true. Peter? I would tell myself the plot of Parasite so I can write it first. No, um... That's I, such uh, a Peter answer. I think, um... Peter, we're trying to have a moment here. Uh... <laughs> Me. Me? You are the moment. Everyone has their own path, so... Not... Comparing yourself to other people mm. will make you a lot happier a lot sooner. Comparing yourself to other people will make you happier? Not comparing yourself to them. Peter, that's a terrible <laughs> yeah. message to he tell said, the people. I think he said the word not, and then he stopped, and then he said comparing. Ah! Did we just get a f***ing face reveal? Surprise! It's still me. We're still together, if you didn't know. <laughs> Imagine it was someone else. Yeah, it's the just someone else. It's a little Uncle Fester. It looks like you just have like a giant neck tat. <laughs> still don't have eyebrows. Ooh. 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 That's a different look, but it works. Oh, you look cute. Very angler. You look really good, actually. Why do I just look like an emo kid? Ooh. Mm. Mm. Oh, did you? Mm. What? Oh, yeah. Do you have something on my face? So I have some good news, some semi less good news, and then some amazing news. You have three newses. I have three newses. The good news. You are going ghost hunting with us this October. <laughs> Woo! The semi less good news. You're only getting one in October. Okay. Wait, can we just say that was more than we got the past two Octobers combined? That's fair, yes it is. I think that is actually good news as well. <laughs> but the best news, we will be ghost hunting. Wait, drum roll. Sorry, sorry to, sorry to so edge you. Can... <laughs> You're edging them, not me. I sorry, know sorry to edge you. you. This was necessary though. We are ghost hunting all year long. so so much for being so loving and kind and patient these past two years i've gotten so many dms from you guys just telling me that you're here for me that you miss me that you can't wait to see me back and that has kept me going so thank you and i'll see you soon this time in like a year and a half bye, bye. <laughs>